First day in LA, baby. Ow. Let's go. All I've had for breakfast the past four days is oatmeal and I'm sick of it. You hear a lot of things about LA, like safety issues. <laughs> Welcome to another moving vlog. We just got to LA last night and unloaded everything and just like dumped it in the apartment. So here's my current situation. I have a lot of stuff to unpack. We started unpacking a little bit of the shoes and realized I need like two, three shoe racks because I got like 70 pairs of shoes. I obviously have my mat on the floor so I definitely need a headboard. I do need a desk with drawers. I definitely want my room to be more minimalistic. If you saw my other room at my parents' house, you know I had like pink walls, all pink accessories. Like it was very childish. So I definitely want this to be more adult, you know. I'm an adult now. Also, we're gonna go to Costco today and just get a bunch of stuff for the apartment. We really haven't gotten anything yet in terms of cleaning supplies, shampoo, things like that. So yeah, first day in LA, baby. Ow, let's get this day started. When they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Look at my current situation. So this is the closet right now. We started unloading some of the shoes and then realized real quick that uh, I still have four huge bags of shoes. So we're gonna need some storage space for that. And I just have a bunch of stuff everywhere. This is like full of just random stuff. Got some boxes back here as well. My sister's setting up the internet and the Sono speaker right now. And then the living room situation's also just, you know, <laughs> a mess. A mess! I also don't have shower curtains yet, so I had to place like three towels down here last night when I showered. No shampoo, my sister only had conditioner. And I used hand soap. I used hand soap to wash my body. I'm definitely not gonna do any makeup today, but I figured I'd at least blow dry my veins. Mystery Bay is here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> that was so cute. Smoked salmon scramble. Smoked salmon scramble and waffles. Yum. So this is the game plan. We did not put a list together, which is not a good idea. So we're gonna so we're go aisle by aisle mm -hmm. and be like, we need this. We don't. Do we need it? Do we not? They usually say going aisle by aisle is a bad idea because you end up buying everything, but we're gonna try our best to only we're get the things we need. We're not going aisle by aisle over here. We just missed one aisle. We just missed an aisle. Okay. Oh. All right. Toothpaste. Toothbrush. It's gonna be a long grocery slash stuff haul. Anybody want cereal? We are back in the apartment. We got a bunch of stuff. Oatmeal, cleaning supplies, plates, utensils. All that fun stuff. I also have a bunch of stuff in here. We will be good to go for the next, what, week or so? We just got the essentials for now until we get settled in and then we'll go all out with the grocery shopping.
I stayed out pretty late last night for a wedding, so I woke up late and then I was editing all day and I had to shoot a quick collab for a video, but I really need to get to unpacking. I haven't done much. All I've unpacked so far is some shoes and hangers. I mean, it's only my third day moved in, so it's fine, but I really want to get all the unpacking done within the next three days. Today, I want to tackle clothes and shoes. I don't have any shoe racks yet to store all my shoes in, but I at least want to categorize everything into sections. That way, when I order all my furniture, I know where everything's going to go. And that way, I won't overestimate anything. That's why I want to get all the unpacking done before ordering any furniture. My sister is out furniture shopping right now for the living room space. So I'm leaving that up to her. She's going to send me whatever options she finds. But yeah, ever since I moved into my new space, I've been so much more motivated to shoot YouTube videos. I have been very inconsistent with YouTube and post a lot more on TikTok and Instagram. You know, living with a family of six, it was always super loud in my house, era problems, and it was just so much harder to shoot content. But now that I'm here, I'm excited to get it going. I can't wait to get everything nice and organized and just get my life started because right now everything's all over the place. <sighs> I'm gonna try to fit my PJs and my workout pants in these three boxes. Hopefully I can make it all fit. Okay, so now we are color coordinating. guys I took a little break from my room because my sister just went kitchen utensil shopping good I thought you were gonna take the credit for it no she got a bunch of stuff um, and there's such a vibe so we're kind of just undoing what are these called stickers uh, kitchen kitchen necessities stuff so we're sort of just undoing everything putting them in the dishwasher and putting the rest in place and yeah, everything is so cute. Let me show you. Look at all the vibes. Cutting board. Yeah, take a look at this. Pans, measuring cups, yeah. spoons. What? Look Hold on. That. Look at that. Look at that. Cup, are these cup, cup holders? Yeah, like coffee cup holders. Cup holders. This one. This matches perfectly with our sink, you guys. I'm obsessed. Do they like this or not? Do I'm not guys, vibing with it. My sister isn't vibing with this rug, but I feel like it matches the marble, the silver on the wall. I don't know. What do you think? What would you want to switch it to? Like either a solid white one. Solid white. But I feel like solid white is like bathroom material. No, not necessarily. I don't know. I like this. I feel like it matches the walls, but yeah, we're going to put all this stuff away and I'm going to call it a night. 
I'm gonna do some editing and then call it a night. You are the best. All I've had for breakfast the past four days is oatmeal and I'm sick of it, but since we finally got some kitchen utensils yesterday, we have some egg bites, bagel, some fruit, and I'm finishing it off with some coffee and Oreos. Um, I am about halfway done with my room, but I'm gonna eat this really quick, edit, shower, take a little break before finishing more of my room tonight. Okay, let me show you guys what I have done so far. So over here I have all my dresses and rompers. I literally rearranged my closet at least five different times. But so far I'm going to have my tops right here, my bottoms here. I had like this whole area sort of like an aesthetic section. I had like a pair of heels and a nice bag in every single one of these shelves. And I sent a video to my mom and she was like that's not practical like you need to put pjs or shirts or some sort of clothing here that's the whole point of the shelves so i listened to her and she's right it is a lot more practical especially because these two sections are my lounge slash workout attire i originally had my lounge shirts up here and that's not practical at all like i would have probably forgotten about this if i kept it there and then I had all my workout shorts and my yoga pants down here. And again, that's not practical. So I think I'm going to stick with this for now. Right here, I have my wintry tops and long sleeve bodysuits. So I did run out of hangers. So I'm going to buy more hangers and then hang my lighter jackets up here. And then my thicker winter coats, I'm going to hang in the storage closet by the entrance. But yeah, I don't have that much more. And in regards to my closet it's almost done and again I'm more focused on it being practical in this apartment rather than all about the aesthetics this is all my shooting equipment so backdrop lighting tech things like that I'm gonna undo these and have it right here so it's super easy for me to just shoot content or shoot a self tape whenever I need it whiteboard is probably gonna be hung up here I'm gonna buy a desk with drawers but yeah, I mean, we are coming along, you guys. We're coming along. Hi, guys. It is really late right now. It's almost 2 a.m. I just got back from a dinner, but honestly, I was very unproductive today. I woke up super late, felt like crap. All I did was add a couple things to my cart in regards to furniture. I have a pretty big list of things that I need to buy for my room and bathroom. And I've honestly been slacking, but the plan for tomorrow is to order all the furniture I need for both my room and my bathroom. And then once that arrives, I need to finish reorganizing everything. And then hopefully we will be done. I'm trying to focus on a new goal every week. So this week it's unor unorganizing, reorganizing. This week it's unpacking and getting settled in. Next week, I really need to get my routine in regards to eating, workout, and my sleep in order. And then after that, start focusing on content creating, self tapes, all the other work I need to catch up on. Good night. Good morning, guys. Today, I am out and about all day. I'm going to about five different stores. Can you stop? Sorry. Can I live? Let's start over. <laughs> We're starting off with Ikea and then we're doing a huge grocery haul at Sam's Club. And then I was actually gonna order like 95% of my furniture for my bedroom and bathroom off of Amazon. But my sister was at Ross last night and you guys, she literally found the best deals. Like everything she found was literally half the price of Amazon. For example, I was gonna get these meal prep containers that had 10 trays. They were $12.99 on Amazon, which is not bad. But my sister literally found a 24 tray meal prep container set for only $6.99. Yeah, you're welcome. Also, I'll be making a separate video about this, but I was gonna do like a strict meal prep plan and go all out. But honestly, I've tried meal prepping once and after the third day, the food tastes like really bad. Um, so what I'm gonna do since I'm on my own schedule right now, there's no reason for me to meal prep 
for the whole week or even for four days in advance I think what I'm gonna do is just plan out my meals the night before so I'll still use those meal prep containers but I'll be cooking you know the day before instead of for the full week if that makes sense I don't know why I felt like I was on lockdown the past week I mean we live in a pretty safe area but you know like you hear a lot of things about LA like safety issues like people getting robbed in broad daylight and stuff like that so so that sort of news made me kind of weary with going out alone but honestly as long as I'm out and about in public areas and it's during the day I should be fine but yeah I will catch back up with you guys after probably after each store and just update you on what we find and what I still need whatever I don't find in all the stores I'm going to today I'm just gonna get off Amazon because I literally spent the past two days adding everything onto my cart and I was ready to buy it and then my sister kind of saved the day surprisingly she kind of like helped me out a little bit with all the deals excuse me I'm always saving the day bye We're getting this jar with these bamboo lids to store like rice, beans, cereal, coffee, things like that. I think five is good. Two, three, four. We just got done looking at the showroom. We got hungry, so we stopped by to eat real quick. I got a chicken Caesar salad, salmon filet, and some cake. I'm probably gonna get a desk from here. I found a couple nice desks that are available. Okay, so I'm getting this trash can because I want a big one for my room. The other one I had was very tiny and I wouldn't even put anything in it because if I put like two water bottles, it would just get full. So this is an 11 gallon one that I think would be practical and useful to put under my desk in my room. It's like 15 bucks. And then I'm also getting this desk. I'll insert a picture of how it looks like after assembly. But this one has a couple drawers and it's pretty small, just like I wanted. I'm also getting this chair and then we have the handle for it right here. And I think that's it for IKEA. I got a chair, a trash can, and a desk for literally the price of one desk on Amazon. Crazy. Now the bed frame here was twice as much, so I'm probably going to get that online. But you know, you find a new steal in every place you go. That was a successful shopping trip. We are gonna go to one more furniture store. It's called World Marketplace, just cause there's still a few furniture items we're looking for. Um, and then after that, we're gonna go grocery shopping. It's already 4.30, so I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go to Ross and Target and TJ Maxx, but if not, I'll just go tomorrow. everything we've gotten so far is like almost everything we've gotten so far is like kitchen utensils and decorations and jars this is and our first time at world market by the way i think we're overdoing it with the kitchen stuff but my sister just keeps getting more things because they're aesthetic and they have the look but we got a rice cooker that is all of this by the way i mean yeah it's all about the aesthetic and stuff but it's like if i'm not gonna use it i don't want it you know what i mean but you are gonna use it so you're gonna want oh you know what i would want an apron since i'm gonna be learning how to cook and stuff this is like christmasy huh oh there's pots and pans here <gasps> that is a vibe that is a vibe but our, I think I can find it better our walls are marble so we've gotten a lot of like marble utensils to go with it oh my gosh okay I know I'm supposed to be eating healthy and all but these they literally don't have these in the states you guys this is the first time I found them in the states I used to eat them all the time when I lived in Dubai <gasps> I'm gonna get sriracha mayo okay I'm getting this so we ended up getting a rice cooker and a couple other food items that you don't find in normal grocery stores. But now we're actually gonna go grocery shopping. It's getting dark, it's like almost 6 p.m. No, 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 we're going to okay, we're going to another furniture store and then we're going grocery shopping. We are going to do our grocery shopping in Target at Target. 
because I want to look at some decorative stuff they have and we were like we might as well just grocery shop there but that's the last place we're gonna go to tonight I feel like this vlog is getting pretty long so I'm just gonna end this vlog right here I'll probably do a mini haul in the next vlog of everything I end up buying but yeah that's it for this vlog I hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for more moving vlogs and I'll see you guys next time bye